Hello viewers and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. In our first tutorial, we created products, specified storage locations, received products, and organized them into storage. With Stealthy Woods Warehouse stock, I'm going to show you how we manage and ship customer orders. And we're going to even do it using the barcode application. So enough chit chat. Let's explore how we manage our warehouse at Stealthy Wood using Odoo Inventory. All right, Odurus, we're inside of the inventory application. Let's start by heading to configuration and then settings. I've already enabled a few features, but let's highlight the key ones for today. So we're going to scroll to our barcode section using a barcode scanner, such as this one right here, makes operations more convenient for pickers and packers because it allows them to walk through the warehouse while recording quantities. Now, if we scroll down further over here in our shipping section, we have delivery methods as our selected item. And that's because these are handy for automatically printing shipping labels to tape to the shipping box. Well, these aren't required for delivering items. I just wanted to show you since I thought it might be useful. Now to enable the required features, we're gonna scroll over to warehouse over here as our section. So we're gonna make sure that we have both storage locations and multi-step routes enabled. These help us define specific locations to store products and define the various locations and quality checks an item must pass through before storage or delivery. And if you're enabling these features for the first time, Odoers, remember to hit save in the top left corner. Always save. Now let's head to configuration and then we're gonna select warehouses. We're gonna click our stealthy wood warehouse. Great. Here on this overview, we're gonna make sure that for our outgoing shipping or shipments, sorry, small little doopsie, we wanna make sure that this field is set to pick then deliver two steps. Why two steps? Not all businesses need two-step delivery, but Stealthy Wood has a dedicated picking team. They're familiar with how our storage is organized, so they're really efficient when locating products. Once they've picked the products, the delivery team can take over. They verify everything is correct, packing it up, and getting it ready to ship. I'm going to explain this setup in more detail in the warehouse operations video, but for now, let's dive into the barcode setup. Okay, so... We're going to now this time go to products and then products. All right, let's select our monitor stand that we have over here. And here we have our nice product overview. Now you see this section down here that's labeled as barcode. Well, we need to import the barcode for this product and we can input that in a few different ways. Now I could type in manually a whole bunch of numbers, but it's kind of old school. I think it's time that we go modern. Imagine this is a new product that we just received from a supplier. If I had the physical barcode right here, I'd simply go over to it and kind of like that. It's pretty cool, right? I have that right here. So when I scan the barcode, the field is automatically filled in and that's how easy it is. And with that, we're ready to begin picking products. So back on our main inventory dashboard, since we've enabled two-step delivery, we have the pick operation over here, as well as delivery orders over here. Let's kick off a productive day by retrieving items from storage. So in the pick card, we're gonna select this three to process. You might have a different number, it depends on how many you have to process. So perfect, it's taken us over here to a list. Now on this list of all of these orders, we happen to see that we have schedule dates. Now this tells us when the order needs to ship from the warehouse. If you're using the sales app, confirming a sales order creates a corresponding task here in inventory to ensure that we pick and ship every item on time. The source document over here, well, that's the link to that sales order that's related to the order. And if you'll notice, we also have a nice little status column over here. Ready means that we've got everything in stock to fulfill the order right now. Now this is the database view, but why stick with that when we can use the barcode application to make picking even easier? So I'm gonna close this window and show you this through the barcode app. So I'm actually using my scanner over here and let's pretend that I'm a cool warehouse operations employee. So this is the task that I'm assigned to with some barcodes and here it also is. So if I didn't have a barcode scanner handy, I could tap in this case operations on the iPad and then I can also click immediately into pick. And then from here, I could select my picking order. You can also manage incoming receipts, internal transfers, and delivery orders from the operation screen. But since I have the orders barcode, I'm gonna click on our barcode breadcrumb to take us back over here on the iPad. And I'm actually just gonna scan our picking number. 
right there. And would you look at that? There we are. This pulls up our list, which happens to be three office chairs and two monitor stands. Pretty important. So at the top of each of the lines that we have right here, it basically shows where the products are stored. For the very first one, we have shelf one. And for the second one, we have shelf two. But let's pretend that I just walked over there and let's scan the barcode for, in this case, we're gonna do shelf one. Okay. Oh, I just realized I forgot to print the barcode for the shelf. So I think I'm going to have to type it in instead. So it's like the gear icon up at the top left over here. And for our barcode, I'm going to type in shelf one and then I'm going to hit apply. Okay. So now it's telling me that I need to be able to scan a product from shelf one. Now this works because in the barcode field of this location, I have it set to shelf one. So with that, Odoo displays a cool navy blue over here banner to show that shelf one has been selected as the location. We can now scan the item that we need, which happens to be the offers chair over here. I'm gonna cover this up. Okay, look at that. So to, let's actually do this not manually. I'm noticing that I'm doing this one at a time. So to do this way quicker, I'm just gonna tap in the plus two. Look at that. Now we're done picking the chairs over here. We have our three out of three done. Now, if I were in an actual warehouse, I would place these three chairs onto my dolly and push it over to shelf two, where I would continue picking the remaining items. So let's assume that I have reached shelf two over here, and we need to reach that last item. Look at that. Now we're over here at shelf two, and you'll notice the previous items have disappeared, showing only items from shelf two. So I'm gonna scan our monitor stands this time around. We're gonna do that one twice, just to show that we can do this. So with everything picked and on my cart, I'm gonna push it to our destination location, which is WH slash outputs. And I'm gonna drop off the items to the delivery team. I'm gonna tap on validate in the bottom left corner for myself and we're done. All right, now let's switch roles and pretend that I'm on the delivery team for apparently a very dangerous warehouse because the last thing I have left is a hard hat. So the picking team brought me some products for delivery. Inside of our delivery orders card that we have over here, I'm gonna click on our one to deliver and I see it immediately. There's our delivery order. Inside of the operations tab, I'm gonna double check that all the products are here and they are. But do I have a secondary indication? I do, it's our pro tip for today. The product availability field up here shows if everything is ready and it's green now, so we're good. And here's also a quick guide to what the colors mean for status fields. If you see a date in the product availability field, it's the expected arrival date. But now that all the products are ready, let's pack up everything in a box. And this delivery order is linked to a sales order. And we can see that for our source document. And if we go to our additional info, it appears there once again, but under our shipping information, I can see that we're gonna be using FedEx as the shipping carrier. To clarify, a delivery order doesn't mean Stealthywood is handling deliveries. It simply records that items are leaving the warehouse with the shipping carrier handling transport to the customer. With the shipping connector set up, Odo generates a shipping label automatically and I can print and tape it to a box. Once that everything checks out, when I click validate up at the top, you'll notice very nicely, we have our sweet, nice little label over here on our chatter for details on printing shipping labels or available connectors check out our tutorials and documentation so we're done today we just covered how to pick and send products using odoo's handy tools check out our other inventory videos because we've got more coming your way thanks for watching outdoors and remember if you're doing great go grab a snack slim jim sponsor me see you next time stay safe